this is Frankie Abrazino with the Uncensored Report. So this story is about some professors, about six of them, and they're talking about the pain and the suffering and the injury that uh, controversial speakers may bring on to their students. And so they put decided to put out this email because, you know, the millennials out there, they're going to college and they, uh, you know, they, they have this... Um, they, what happens is they don't seem to understand that whole hypocrisy of what being a snowflake, what being a cupcake is all about. So they're running around, they're crying, they're whining that certain people have this privilege. You know, that thing we hear so much about that, the white privilege, the male privilege. We, we have that privilege and the millennials are out there on these campuses crying about it because uh, it, it's pretty damn privileged to have a position to worry about what others might do, what they might say that may end up hurting your feelings, that may end up offending you. So they don't want this debate. They don't want any controversial speakers that may differ in opinion from them from coming onto their campus and talking about world happenings that they may not agree with because, after all, that's offensive, right? So you got these... Uh, this college professors in this, I don't know if this is something all colleges are doing. It was an article that I read where they come out and they're warning their students that these uh, potential uh, conservative or controversial speakers may offend them. And I say cons conservative because it ends up that most college campuses are a bit progressive on that side. And so if anyone that, if you go see these speakers, you may be offended and they just wanted to bring it to your attention. So Reason.com went out there and they reported about this commission. And get this, folks, this is no joke. It's called the Commission for Ethnic Ethnicity, Race, and Equality, C-E-R-E. And it's over at Wellesley College. It's made up of six professors from Wellesley. Um, and, you know, it's amazing. If you look at the classes that these six professors teach, basically they teach theater studies, environmental studies, history, history of race, gender, and culture, exploring school, community relations, and K-12 urban schools, qualitative psychologi psycho psychologi psychologists, I can't speak today, with an emphasis on race, class, gender, cultural production. And basically, they're not genuine teachers. They're so um, they're societal teachers, and so these six people, these six professors, sit on this board, this Siri board, and they sent out an, em an email to the entire campus, campus, and they discouraged guest speakers with controversial or questionable beliefs. Who decides the controversial? Who decides if they're questionable? I don't know. I guess these six very liberal, very progressive professors do, and they want you to. Before you come on to their campus at Wesley, they want you to consider the potential pain, the potential injury, harm, suffering, damage that you may bring on to these poor little snowflakes, these millennial snowflakes. And you got to think, and this article did a good job at asking, what type of Orwellian world do we live in where free speech somehow imposes their, their uh, beliefs they're onto another organization that wants to come out there, imposes on their liberty to come out and speak their thoughts. Just because they may not uh, align with the narrative that those professors want to push out. If their position was accepted by the college, it would demolish the entire foundation of higher education, wouldn't it? That's on the reason put out, and I have to agree with that statement. They are ceding total power to the students who are out there claiming that they, amazingly enough, that they were victimized by the opinions of people that they don't like, opinions that they don't agree with. They were victimized by it. So if you look at it, there's basically is no debate. Debate is something that they teach in just modern colleges these days. It's too painful too painful for the millennials, for the snowflakes out there. And more and more, as you see these stories come out, some of these crazy stories, and a lot of them emanating out of college colleges, you got to wonder if we are truly in the Orwellian world. As if the NSA, as if, as if Vault 7 or the um, Dragnet wasn't an Orwellian enough, you got this type of belief, this type of teaching at the college level. 
people in positions of authority. They consider themselves to be defenders of free speech by shutting down free speech, which is essentially 1984. And again, I say, I tell you, it, and it's being done by some people that are basically social justice warriors. Individuals that aren't really teachers. They don't really have any work to do. All they have is time to snivel at their intellectual superiors, demand censorship in the name of free speech. Ironic, ironic. Censorship in the name of free speech. Think about that. And these students that they're teaching, these students that are getting offended and whining the snowflakes over somebody being able to allowed to speak on their campus that has opposing views are going to be the future leaders of America. And the thought is to let that sink in. The future leaders of America. What to say you? This has been Francesco Albertino with the Uncensored Report.